need to figure this thing out. Like, are we sticking around? Are we closing? Can we survive? Like, we need to figure this out, okay? Hey friends, what's up? <laughs> Y'all, I have so much stuff going on in my brain. Like, I always have a million tabs open, but right now I feel like I truly have a million tabs open. But I want to kick off this vlog. I don't even know if it's going to be a vlog. This is going to be like a real life brain dump unfolding on camera. So if you watched one of my last videos, My Business is Failing, first of all, thank you for everyone who commented and just chimed in and was like, girl, I'm here. I'm at the same place. A lot of the things that you said I resonated with it's nice to not be alone okay i am sad that other people have had similar scenarios and situations and experiences because you know life is not all flowers and bubbles and candy but we prefer to have positive experiences most of the time so it's not a good thing that other people have experienced some of those negative situations but i will say it is a little bit relieving to not feel so alone and isolated in those thoughts but moving forward, it's time to move forward. Like we could talk about it, we could vent, we could decompress and all that, but we need to take action. And right now I'm at that point where I just have like decision paralysis, I have anxiety and it's hard for me to move forward and take action. So that's why I just hit record today on the camera so we can start taking action. As it stands today, my website is shut down. Shopify said, honey, ain't no money in your account. We cannot charge it, okay? <laughs> I'm being, like this, I'm being so serious. I told y'all, the business is not, there's no cash flow. The business is not making money. And that put me at the point where I would have to spend my own money to pay the business expenses. And I just do not like that. Like, it sounds petty, it sounds immature, it sounds raggedy, but I just don't wanna pull out my personal Shea debit card and pay for something business related because I fell off my game with my business. That's really irritating me. But to get the ball back rolling, I am going to have to come out of pocket and get my shop back online. So I didn't want to like hastily pay and still not be doing nothing with it because that's I don't want to be counterproductive anymore. I'm sick of being counterproductive, taking no action. I wanted to wait until I was ready to actually move forward with a plan on what I'm going to do before I take out my personal debit card and pay that Shopify bill. So I'm going to take some time today to brain dump, plan, just get all my thoughts out. The most specific thing I want to do is literally write down because numbers don't lie. The figures don't lie. In order to set a goal, in order to set a smart goal, sometimes you really need to look at the numbers. I really want to list out every single thing that I need financially for this business to get back on its feet. And that will help me kind of shape a goal for moving forward. I said I wanted to have like a big blowout sale. Okay, how much money do I want to earn in the sale? What is that money going to be used for? And what do I need to do for the sale to earn that dollar amount? So that's kind of where I'm at now. I just want to be intentional, 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 actionable. I'm, I'm just putting words together, okay? We making a pe peanut butter and jelly sandwich with words. But yeah, that's where I am right now. So you guys are going to be like my accountability partners. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make a million dollars, but I need, I need this money by tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I need the business to start being self-sufficient. It doesn't have to be back in the green and it doesn't have to be highly sustainable, but it needs to be self-sufficient. Like I'm, I'm not into pulling out my personal debit card to pay for business expenses. That's real. That's real crazy to me. So I'm gonna I'm a do it for the one time. I'm gonna pay my bill, get on track with Shopify, get back on the up and up with Shopify. Um, and then we need to figure this thing out. Like, are we sticking around? Are we closing? Can we survive? Like, we need to figure this out, okay? So, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share with someone else who may be going through similar things. And let's get to it. I feel like I need to go somewhere cute and like take a deep breath and bring my computer and bring my notepads and my pens and really decompress and do my brain dump but i also kind of want to verbally do it on camera so i don't know it's gonna be weird i don't want to be in somebody's restaurant talking to myself talking to the camera it's like girl you don't need to go spend money to go somewhere to brain dump i don't know y'all ciao it's gonna be too late for y'all to tell me what to do because i'm gonna be done did it by then but sometimes you really just do need a new breath of fresh air and a new environment to really produce new thoughts i don't know am i overthinking it should I just sit right? I did get a new, I got a new office chair. Should I just sit right here in my in my new office chair and figure it out? I can swivel 360. This chair is cute. I can swivel 360. Only thing I don't like about this chair, the feet don't move. Like the chair moves, but the feet don't move. And I be needing a, like I'm a scooter. I got this L-shaped desk with like something's over here, something's over here. It's like laptop, computer, iPad, phone. I need to like, I need my feet to move. But I digress and I'm babbling. So 
let's get to it let's figure this thing out my friends my friends my friends all right let me catch y'all up in regards to the business because i was supposed to be filming all this stuff but honestly a lot of stuff happens in my brain very quickly and i can't always capture with the camera so i went out one day for lunch by myself i just literally went to like a park sat down ate nourished myself pulled out my notebook pulled out my planner and my notepad actually this notepad right here right i flipped open the page got my new page and i had decided i'm closing my business right so i started my little note with ps closing and um just all the things i wanted to do logistically for the closing so one of the things I wanted to do was send an email to all my customers, just thanking them for all their support over the past three years. And that caused me to go into a state of reflection. And I have the best customer. Like I, nobody's business community is touching mine. I'm sorry. I don't care what you got going on. I know there's people that sell out in minutes and all six figures, all that but the people that bank me are different okay I'm telling you they they're they're very special so when i really started thinking about that i was like i cannot close on my people like i can't like <laughs> it has to be another way we got to figure this thing out so i randomly decided okay i'm just gonna like spill my heart in a little letter to them so i ended up typing up this draft popping it into shopify emails and in that draft a thought came over me how i once got it i get a lot of dms from my customers because like i said they're very amazing i once got a dm from one of my customers my insta friend basically saying she's a therapist and her one of her clients has been struggling with depression and anxiety and feeling overwhelmed and disorganized she introduced her to paper standards and now she comes to her therapy sessions with her paper standards planner filled out ready to go ready to rock for the week and those are the type of things that make me want to keep the business open, right? So I included a screenshot of that message and I just explained like I'm not going to close, but I do need time and physical space to like reassess what I have going on. I need to get rid of a lot of these old products. I need to have the opportunity to introduce some new things and really streamline what I'm offering. I, I off, right now I offer a little bit of everything. Anytime I had an idea, I would go ahead and do it. So I just want to streamline everything, right? So I had that email set up at like 7.38 something. And I was like, okay, I'm going to schedule this to send it in the morning. Shopify actually gave me an AI recommendation to send it the next day today at 9 p.m. But I was like, no, I'm going to schedule this in the morning. Something told me just hit send. Something told me just hit send. And as soon as I hit send, I literally started getting email replies from customers, supporters, people that just cheer me on with just beautiful, encouraging messages instantly started getting orders i mean i was supposed to sit here and get a piece of paper and write down a number goal for what i would need to make in order to feel like i can have a fresh start and the business can sustain itself and we can move forward with some new projects i never even got a chance to do that in the amount of orders that i have gotten and the sales that i got in the past it hasn't even been 24 hours it's literally been like 12 or 16 hours is the foundation to move forward it's not it's not i'm not rich or nothing but it's enough for me to pay my shopify ahead uh pay my p.o box renewal pay for a lot of the admin type things that need to be taken care of and still have a little bit left over to refresh my website and do some new things there i need a new printer um i want to update some equipment there's just so many little things i need to do and this is just like a step in the right direction so the amount of messages <laughs> that I receive from my community, like they're literally the best set of people. I know them by name. They encourage me on Instagram, email, DM, text, check in, any way that they can reach me, they will reach me. And for people to just have a spirit of like, we got you, like you ain't going nowhere, like that is priceless and everybody doesn't get that experience so i definitely don't take it for granted so although i wasn't able to capture the feeling live just know that it's a crazy feeling to explain to people what you need and for people to come through for you yeah we're not closing i, I do need a minute my plan right now is to with the current sale that i have going on um pretty much Things are like up to 50% off. Some things are more than 50% off. I just want to clear out a lot of stuff. Even some of the products that I love, 
they just don't fit logistically like space wise shipping wise it just doesn't make technical sense to have so many different offerings so i really want to clear out everything that i already have and just get like some staple hero products and i think i mentioned that in my other video too but yeah that's my update that's my check-in um i will probably log back into the camera when i'm actually packing the orders i plan to pack the orders tomorrow um i want to get them out as quickly as possible i did upgrade my like shipping window from five to seven business days to seven to ten just because i expect that whenever there's a sale there's going to be high volume and i'm only one me and i work full time and everything else so i want to make sure i had enough time to touch all the orders properly but hopefully between wednesday and friday evenings i can get the ball rolling to get them pushed out because i want the supporters and the community to have what they ordered as soon as possible so that's the update for now i'm very 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 excited very happy very grateful and yeah i'll be back soon good morning my beautiful friends it has been a week i mean just the best this has been the best week it's saturday morning i am getting ready to sit here and process orders i have let's see I have like 50 orders the response to me calling on my community to clear out this inventory for my business was so crazy like when I say they held it down they held it down so we're gonna get into it I'm gonna start processing these orders y'all can pack some orders with me let's get these packing slips printed out um and start processing these orders i see some people name on here more than once like uh, i just literally have no nobody's nobody's community is messing with mine i'm telling you nobody's 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 let's get into these orders this is the longest label train i've had in a long long time okay Look at this. You see this? That's the end. All right. So first things first, I am going to break these down into groups so that it's easier to fulfill it. Um, let me start with the first order. We definitely want to get the earlier orders out the quickest. So that will be here. My girl Kiana was my very first order of the sale. Shout out, Kiana. I know you're watching this. Um, all right. So basically what I'm looking for is if they have inserts, those are going to be processed last because they have to be printed. And if they have mugs, I'm going to put those to the side because mugs are going to require a different type of box. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to split everything up. So let's get to it. All right, so now I have three piles. I have orders that do not have inserts or mugs, which is a pretty decent sized pile. Orders that um, include mugs but not inserts. And orders that include inserts and some of them have mugs. So this is a really thick pile. It's important to separate these because I need to make a list of all the inserts that were ordered so that it's easier for me to print them. Once I know which inserts were ordered and what quantity I need of each, then I can just print them in batches. So now I'm going to go through this list, write down. Actually, I'm going to do it as a Google sheet. Usually I do it. No, I'm going to write it down. I like writing it down. It's easier. That way I can just physically check it off. So I'm going to go through and write it down. And yeah, then we'll get to packing the ones that don't include inserts. The ones that do include inserts, I'll start printing um, probably tomorrow and get these out within the new week. here getting hot now i wanted to come back because i just sat up here and total autos totals right my totals are incorrect and then it dawned on me to take some of my life skills and apply them to my business and i created a pivot table on google sheets you could do it on excel that where i basically just exported all the orders that i had um opened them up in a google sheets and you guys got to look up pivot table because this will really change your life if you work with like numbers and documents and things like that the pivot table will basically you tell it what you want to know i want to know for each insert that people ordered what is the sum of the total number of orders and it literally just 
did it real quick for me. So don't do this. <laughs> Get you a pivot table. Let me actually show you. I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, this is what I created super quickly to tell me the correct totals. And this is what I'm going to be using to guide me on how many inserts I need to be printing. So this is really good if you have um, just like a super high quantity of orders and you want to be able to pull. Actually, I really should do this for everything. You know what? I'm going to do this for everything that I have on here. Because I want to know, like, instead of me going through and saying, Sarah ordered two pins and Jackie ordered four pins, I could just see how many of the pink pins I need to pull in total. Boom. So I'm going to go to insert, pivot table, do it as a new sheet. It's going to open up a new screen. And then I'm going to go over here to the pivot table editor. Let me. All right. So we got the pivot table screen open um, for rows. You have all, anything that's a header in your sheet is going to be an option for rows. So what I'm looking for is the line item name. All right, so these are all the different items that people ordered. And then for values, I want the line item quantity. And then it's going to total it up for me. So I have 154 pieces that I need to pull. And instead of me going through individual packing slips and figuring out how many I need to pull for each order, I have a full total. So I could pull out, well, let me see what the biggest thing is. I could pull out seven sticky notes and just have it sitting in front of me. So when I come to the person's order that needs sticky notes, I already have it rather than me getting up seven times and getting sticky notes every time I need them, if that makes sense. All right, this is my current situation. I got most stuff pulled and we're about to get packing. So battery is dying. <laughs> at the finish line my printer has been giving me issues for quite some time um and i'm fed up and i'm literally have three more slices of paper to print for these sale orders and just went to staples and got a new printer that was one of the goals of the sale was to get new equipment i actually want to have a separate monochrome monochrome printer and a separate color printer my current printer is uh color so i just run into issues when the color cartridges run out i can't even talk when the color cartridges run out and I still have a full, like I'll replace the black cartridge, color leaks onto the pages. It's the weirdest thing and I hate it. So I figured that the solution is just get a monochrome printer that only does black and white because I'm primarily printing in black and white. Like I, it's rare that I print things in color. I just went and grabbed this from Staples. I, it, it really don't look like it's going to be a beast or nothing like that, but it looks like it'll get the job done for what I need for right now. So. I'm about to wrap up these last few orders um, and then we're all set with the sale. Then I can go back through the inventory, see what's lingering and try to push the rest of this stuff up. So I really just want to know why there's a national matcha shortage that Subway, I mean Subway, <laughs> that Starbucks is suffering from. And don't come for me. I know, I know, I know. I can sit up here and make my own matcha at home. I get all that. Okay. But sometimes certain activities, it's about the serotonin of the activity, not about the final product. Like the whole point of going to Starbucks and ordering my grande iced matcha latte with oat milk, with vanilla, with sweet cream, cold foam. The whole point of that is the experience and the release I get from shaking up that cup and drinking my matcha that I didn't have to sit up here and make myself. You know, sometimes it's just about the experience. So I would like for whoever is in charge of buying the matcha for Starbucks to just find some more somewhere else. The same place y'all want me to go and get it for myself and do it at home, go find some. <laughs> like, what did I get today? I had to get me a, um, my whole office and desk is a mess, y'all, I apologize, but I just got me a iced um, green peach, a iced peach green tea because your girl can't get no matcha anywhere. Anywhere. All right, let's get this printer open office is a mess as soon as i finish these last few orders i'm gonna clean up in here like i got all these things that i need to kind of unbox 
and share with the beauty side of my community but right now we're in entrepreneurship world so this looks like it's gonna be the cartridge that's another thing with buying printers the, the cartridge would be more expensive than the printer like the cartridge for this printer is only fifty dollars but because i have a stationary business and it's primarily run off of printing i don't even mess with those regular cartridges i always get high yield and this one actually has extra high yield so the extra high yield cartridge is like a buck fifty and this printer cost me 160 dollars so that means every time i replace my cartridge it's like buying a new printer damn it so just to give you some perspective on how real it could get in the field this is so much smaller than my big old bulky beef that don't even hardly be working like i'm so happy I can't wait to get my desk together for it to actually flow properly. But for now, what well, a lot of say ripped me out the plastic and Mr. Mac the brand new. It's to say they run the game, but they really ran through. Is that the words? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's so small compared to my big old beast. I love it. I was really hoping to get a white printer for aesthetic purposes, but you know what? Sometimes it ain't about being cute. It's about getting your job done, getting your work done, okay? So aesthetics lost, but at least she's compact. That's really my main concern. I better not have no problems connecting this to my computer. Because we just, I'm not in the mood for no problems. I just want to print these three slices of paper, print out these last three um, shipping labels, and call it a day. That's what I want to do. Okay. Ooh, the way I'm just whipping this thing around. Y'all can see how big my other printer is. It'd be like, I see why you just whipping that thing around. All right. This is my problem. I don't be reading instructions. Let me see what's going on. Woo! Installation disc. Nobody got no uh disc thing on their computer no more. Ciao. All right. Move the pack of materials and install the drum. I'm assuming this is you right here. It just said they run the game, but they really ran it through. Why and why in the year of 2023, our Lord, are we still putting like stickers on stuff that damage it? Like, like you got a whole, like this is on the inside. You don't got to put a, a sticker that say the same thing. No, I got adhesive all over the front of my machine. Like, all right, all right, all right. That's a fun fact if you decide to open up the stationary business and you need a printer. Most printers come with like tester cartridges so they don't print as many pages as a, oh, like fish has a cartridge that you would actually buy. So don't be disappointed when you run out of ink because they do that on purpose to get you back buying something else. Push firmly, which way? This way. Good. Little paper in the tray. Okay, we know how to do the rest of this stuff. For me, I have to make sure any printer that I buy, uh, what you want to look at is the specifications and check for paper handling, paper size handling. So if it just says like letter and legal, for my purposes, that's not going to work. This one, I always need A5, of course. This one has A5, it also has B6, that's what stood out to me. B6 and B5, right? I just see B5. I thought I had B6. I don't know, but it got A5, which is very important for my purpose. So I'm just gonna move this, and this is how I get my perfect size inserts. Let me see, I don't have, I have like one A5 slice of paper left. So, see, fits perfectly right in there. All right, now we got to get this set up to the computer, and we should be good to go. What we gonna What we gonna name her? What we gonna name her? I'm gonna call her Little Mama because my other printer is Big Mama for show for Sheezy. Something I wanna tell you. This is like so not cute on my desk, but it fits. And that's really all I could. I just, I'm just happy it fits. All right, let me get my paper. I got my pre-cut. 
I got my pre-cut vellum. This is what we're printing on today. I just need a few slices of this. So we need a USB cord. We're gonna take it from the other printer. She'll never know a thing. These cords, that's another thing. Printers don't be coming with these cords no more. The cord that's like goes to the printer is kind of like a square and then the, U, the other side is a USB for your computer. I don't know why they don't give you that with the day on printer no more. All right. It's all a mess. I could barely think or breathe in here, but before we do anything else, we gotta make sure this printer is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Printers and scanners. Oh, she already up there. Look, we ain't even have to do nothing. We ain't need no disc. Come on, brother. Brother printer. I'm gonna rename her to Little Mama. I'm gonna put Little Mama on there. All right, let's see. It's the moment of truth. Let's see because I don't be in the mood to be dealing with these electronics. like what why do you look like that y'all the pressure is getting what's up <laughs> like what the fuck i just cannot do i can't do I, I i gotta do something different with myself i gotta let me turn the camera off before i get pressure again let me try this a few other ways first and i'll be back I am so far beyond not being in the mood. Why are you printing my stuff like this? With all of this, what, what, why? Why, 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 why? Why? I only had, what I say, I, what I told y'all, I got three slices of paper to print. And it has already messed up. One, two, three. I did, four, I did four tries. I technically did five tries. I did it on the regular paper too, just to see if I was crazy. It actually looked fine on the regular paper. So this printer must just not. It must not like vellum. I don't know if y'all can see. Like, what is this? 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 What's happening here? God, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> This is honestly, printing issues is one of my biggest things that made me like, I'm not doing this no more. Like, it's always something. It's just literally always something. Like, I can't ever just print in peace. I can never print in peace. Never. I just don't understand it. Now, I could be psycho and continue to waste paper and keep printing this, but... The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. So I don't want to be insane about this, but like, what's the issue? What's really, what's really the problem? It must just not like vellum. That has to be the problem. It just doesn't like this type of paper. And one thing about my other printer, it definitely had more like settings to say what type of paper it is. This one is literally just like thick paper, thin paper, regular paper. Like, what does that even mean? What does that mean? My other one would be like 32 pound, 28 pound, 24 pound. So I guess that's why I need that big old dumb printer to begin with. But I'm just over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I don't even know what to do. I'm in this phase in my life. Like if it's going to stress me out, why am I doing it? It's optional. Why? So that doesn't mean business in general. But like I could just refund these people. They what they pay four dollars for these slices of paper. I could refund them the four dollars that they order. Do a little my bad gift in the order. I don't know because otherwise I'm gonna be sitting here for the next 30, 45, 60, 90, 120 minutes stress trying to come up with a solution. I'm not going back to the store. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go back to the store and return the printer that I literally just bought and get another one home for it to probably be the, do something stupid that I. <clears throat> this is why I needed my Starbucks. This is why I would have been mad as hell if I was mad as hell right now and had to go make myself a damn drink. I'm just over it, y'all. I'm so over it. Like, I look, what, what am I to do? Can y'all see how bad this looks on camera? Let, let me give you another look. You see how bad that looks? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? This is supposed to be like blue magic. Like, if my name is on it, it's a guarantee. I can't be giving out no, no, no filthy work like this. 
Yeah, I just gotta cut my losses. I don't know. I'm gonna round it off here. <sighs> Pray for me. Pray for me. Y'all have a good week. Thank you for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. The definition of insanity is me. I'm going back to Staples. It is, it's like five, it's 526, they close at six. I can't go to bed tonight with this in my mind. So I'm going back to Staples. I'm not going to bring this one back because I don't feel like packing it up and doing all that and waiting in line. I'm going to get a second printer and we just going to see. I got, I have to see, I have to know. Is it just me? Is there a vendetta against me? Or is it not meant to be? I got to see for myself. Let's go. Well, I'm not bringing y'all because I got to hurry up, but I'll be back. Did I go to Staples with a bonnet on? Yes. Do I feel shame about it? No. I'm way too aggravated to be worried about appearance. So nobody tell Auntie Monique on me. I had to do what I had to do. Let's see if this works. So the issue is the other printer was a laser jet printer because I wanted a monochrome, no color. I thought that was fine. A couple videos on YouTube said Bellum doesn't like um, laser jet. But my big, big mama printer that prints on the Bellum fine, I just have issues with the color leaking onto it, is a laser printer. So I don't know. This is an inkjet. It is white. So we are back in our aesthetic vibe. Does come with colored ink. So we're going to see. I'm not even in frame right now, y'all. So. I just want this to work so I can wrap it up for the night. That's all I want. All I want is one printer that works. Just one printer that does what the heck I need to see. It. I didn't care for the way the train was on this one. And I don't need all this like and I don't need all that, but again, we gotta work with the scraps that we're given. The lady at the table was like, you back? I'm sure I am, sis. Here I am. I'm sure I am. She was like, are you returning the other one? No, I'm too aggravated to even think about all of that. I didn't want to be standing up. I didn't want to be dragging in no box and dragging what I trying to keep it real simple so please 11 11 please lord i don't even like the way this sound mm -hmm. sound like an old school printer oh okay it did what it needs to do though i think Okay, it did what it needed to do, but it just got that old printer making all that noise noises. I don't, I don't like that. So I don't know if we're going to keep her, but for today's crisis, she held it down. I do like that this, this one is white, but the other one is just, I don't know, it's quieter. I don't know. I got to figure it out, but we're going to close it off for real now. I'm going to get these packed up. I have all the other orders ready to go, and I just need to add shipping labels for these last three. And yeah, I'll check back in with my printer <laughs> saga. Um, but if you're going to be doing stationery and you need to print things, the printer is going to be your biggest, most important investment. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be back with more chaos very soon. Trust me.